What's this? Stone fix. YouTube. What's up? What's this, Diggs? Stone fix. You like stone fix? You like stone fix? Diggs likes stone fix. I like stone fix. Uh, I've never used stone fix until about five minutes ago. So what is stone fix? This is a reef aquarium safe cement to bond together live rock. Here's my little workstation. Anyways, this stuff is actually uh, incredible. So you mix it with water. It uh, comes out like cement and then you can use it to adhere rock together so that your reefscape or your structure stays together in one piece. Why might you want to do that? Well, if you get a shape that you like, it's nice to keep it all together later when you start moving and adding coral stuff, rocks can fall apart. It can be unsafe, you know, something like this is heavy, falls, cracks the bottom of the tank or this side pane glass here, but it's just convenient to have it all adhered as one and I like to do it like that too because in the past if you ever got to take out a fish you know when you put in a fish you're not thinking you're ever gonna take that fish out stuff happens it's got to come out I could literally take this entire rock right now as one piece and just pull the thing out of the tank take this rock when it's done pull it out of the tank and now I can easily catch a fish throw the rocks back in so it's convenient to keep your rocks together so I've just used this I want to say maybe five minutes ago, this stuff is incredible. It's already stuck. I can't move this. You can see it here. It's like uh, it's like a putty, or I mixed it a little more wet and just poured it on. I'm going to do a mixing of it in a second and show you how it works, but my initial thoughts and reviews on it, awesome product. It does say you can use it underwater. I don't know how you would do that because it's pretty goopy, and I feel like it's just going to fall apart. So maybe I can try doing another video underwater use. Right now I'm doing it dry. And I can tell you it really, really works. Like I just, oh, I guess I didn't do a good job on that one. But these ones over here, I just cemented them or stone fixed them together and they're all, they're all stuck as one piece. So I'm really happy with that. So let's go ahead and mix it and show you exactly how I did this. Okay, so now we're gonna mix it up. I used these um, plastic cups here. It's a little bit messy. Get a box or a piece of paper, something cardboard to mix it on. And I got this handy little measuring cup from Red Sea. So I followed their directions, but I'm going to show you how I did it exactly. So fill this thing up with water. Got my water here in the cup. So we'll just fix 50 mils. So 100 mils of water. I got this nice little rod here. Just get a spoon or whatever you got lying around, I guess. And you're basically mixing it um, like a little cup of concrete. Okay, this stuff sets incredibly fast. So I wasn't expecting it to set, you know, I mean in a couple minutes. You leave it here in the cup and this will just go rock hard. So you don't have that much working time. Mix it in smaller batches use it and then mix it again. That's why we're using this plastic cup because you might go through a few. Okay, so I did 200, sorry, 100 ml of water and with that same little measuring cup I did 150 ml of the of the stone fix. So basically the way I'm using it, I don't know if this is right, but it seems to work. I'm literally just pouring it. This is how I'm using it. Just filling it in almost like concrete and it just sets really easy. So I want like this piece here. I'm just gonna work my way backwards. So I already figured out a nice scape that I like. And then I'm just gonna use this stuff to hold it all together. This is nice, this rock, because it's very porous, so I guess this can easily fill in. And then if you make it a little messy, it doesn't matter, because later it's going to all get covered with coralline anyways. And it's already starting to get quite hard. It hardens pretty quick. So you can make it harder than this and do like balls. I don't know how you'd use this um, underwater. I still, they, they say on the packaging you can. Uh, I'm skeptical. I'm not sure how you would do that. I think this is how I had it. Something like that. I think it was like that. The 
This is hard with one hand. I'm doing this for you guys, okay? This is much easier with two hands. You know what? I don't need this one to be completely permanent. I really just want this sort of bottom structure to stay the way it is. Because if something happens, I don't know, I gotta take this out later, I guess. Maybe I'll leave this one loose. Those will be... Those ones are gonna leave them loose, too. Is that how it was? Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I'm very happy. So yeah, make the scape first, the way you want it to look. And then, maybe we can lock this guy in here. That's it. Okay. So this, this one I did um, a couple of minutes ago. It's insane. Yeah, the stuff is already... That's it. That's it. It's stuck. I'm really pulling on this. Like, it, it's on there. Really good. So I'm really impressed with the product. This is one bag. I went through about half of it. Retails here, um, I think it's like 17 bucks for the small bag, 750 grams. And this is about 50 pounds of rock. I guess I didn't use it absolutely everywhere. So yeah, figure maybe maybe a bag for every 40 to 50 pounds. I guess it's how much you're gonna glue together. But the stuff is awesome. Really, really like it. Let's see, I guess, long term how it holds up, right? This is dry and it, and it's set really quick. Maybe the water affects it. I'm gonna try using it underwater, like they recommend, because I'm still skeptical how you would do it. Maybe if you make it super, Super thick, but anyways, tanks coming along nicely. Next step, I guess we're going to do the pumps. We're going with the AI Neros, so we'll tack some of those on there. Uh, the Hydra 32s. The plumbing's done. Really, just have to mix some water and then turn this puppy on. Any questions, comments, hit us up fragbox.ca or email us. Comments below. Thanks for watching, guys.